three people on. What's up guys? My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today, I caught, so I had this talk a little recently, and today I felt like, well, maybe it's time to say, say it, talk about it, bring it out. Help you guys see that you're not the only one struggling, that I too, myself, struggle. So, this steering wheel is kind of in the way, but hey. <laughs> It'll do, right? Waiting to get my boys, and anyways, so I want to kind of go back to back to high school and you know this I don't know maybe you're maybe you're a friend from high school and we don't talk much anymore or you guys always wondered this possibly but so back in back in high school you know I was playing football freshman year I love playing football right and I, I was really good on the JV team and I played so I played the corner on defense and um, wide receiver on offense. Sometimes they put me in one of the running back spots, but here's the hint, I was not very good at that. <laughs> so anyways, um, freshman year I started playing, sophomore year played again, and I ended up getting hurt. Junior year, this is where it all starts going down, right? I'm like, yes, this is exciting. I'm gonna get it in, I'm gonna get a play. We're gonna like play on varsity. This is gonna be awesome. And I love football. And you know what? In high school, freshman year, I started out, I was like 90 pounds. 90 pounds playing football, having a time of my life. Sophomore year, I hit 110. And then it kind of stayed between 110, 120 throughout the rest of high school uh, till senior year. So we're in junior year playing football. I get injured and I'm I have to go to a doctor's appointment right and I'm like man I, I've got to head out of town my doctor's out of town I gotta go see him about this injury and stuff and uh, well so I went and I I go and I tell the assistant coach I was like hey man I've got to go get this looked at and I'm not gonna be back in time to go to the game due to this appointment and I'm also I've got to go look at a car because get this my very first car it was like a 97 or so 96 I don't even remember it was a Ford Escort it was red maybe I'll put a clip a, a little picture of it here at the uh, end of this video so stay tuned check that out at the very end anyways this car I had just had it parked in the school parking lot and I went to my brother's football game. So we're a football family, we're all playing. Get a call. Hey, your car has been uh, hit. It's sitting up at the school still. We just want to let you know when you get back to town, give us a call, we'll give you the information. All right, cool, well we do it. And insurance comes out, looks at it, and they're like, well, your car's total. Do you want to keep it? Or do you want to just have money and so you know I kind of I really kick myself on the butt every time for this I wish that I had been like hey mom I would I'd like to keep it and can we fix it because all it was was a bumper and a tail light now there might have been more damage but that's all that I could see now this car is a manual so here's here's a kicker you gotta have a manual as your first car I don't care who you are what you say it'll teach you some stuff and you need to know it it makes you pay attention to the road and you're not sitting here like this oh no slamming on them brakes you know so my opinion that's that's all that is and so anyhow i was like man yeah i gotta go look at a new car because i need to get a car so i can get back to school and stuff and uh well seeing looking back now i totally understand it but he was not happy he was not happy and I'm not very happy about that choice either, but I, you know, at the time, what are you gonna do? You're like, I was like 16, 17. So 
I keep checking to see if uh, the boys are coming, so don't don't worry about me trying to check to see if they're here yet. And so, anyways, that happened. So he's like, "Put your jersey on the bench and get out of here. Go tell coach what you just told me." So I was like, "Well, fine. All right, I did." And uh, that was kind of like my breaking point. I had been struggling with a lot of other things, family related, that were going on. I'm not quite ready to tell you guys about. However, um, if you if you know me, you you probably know what was going on at that time. So, um, put two and two together here. <laughs> Anyways, things just started going downhill. Like I didn't feel. I went from feeling really good, you know, to feeling about this tall. I was like that tall, and it it sucked. It sucked. And that's when that's when my depression started coming and I finally figured out what depression really was and so during this time I'm like walking down the hallway I've got my hood up my head down my arms are like crossed you know carrying my books and stuff and I've got headphones in my ears so I can't hear nobody and this is all junior year right and I'm just walking down the hallway and uh, I didn't ever really tell anybody until last night well not last night but yeah last night about it a couple nights ago and uh it, it made me realize that in my junior year i would walk down the hallway and i felt like such a ghost like that i was not there that everybody in the in my path just moved out of my way and went around me kind of thing you know what i mean maybe you feel that maybe you're maybe you're in that position and if you are i, I just want to tell you right now go hit me up on instagram drop a comment down below if you need a prayer just ask for a prayer just comment send a prayer i'll do it i'll send a prayer your way i don't have a problem doing that at all in fact i i do it right now and you don't even know it i don't even know it <laughs> because i like to pray for the sick the well and who does that cover everybody everybody so <laughs> even if i don't know you i'm i'm praying and so anyways um you know all i can i can't really remember junior year because i was i was in that zone of being so so depressed so hurt um not only from getting kicked off the football team but for also my family life situations that were going on and uh it, it just got really really hard so finally you know it's summertime boom yes i can get out of here i've got a job i'm working now this is great and i'm i'm working right i'm working i'm making money but i just couldn't i couldn't really find my that depression was still eating away at me that's what i'm trying to say my depression was still there still eating at me and things got really bad i mean they got really bad and maybe at a later time we can go into depth but i literally this would be this would have to be a five hour conversation and i'm trying not to make it that so <laughs> we might have to break it up into super tiny sections and just tell little bits here and there so stick around click that red subscribe and click that bell so that you're notified when we do upload videos and so you know that depression was still getting at me and i was like mom I had just found out that this assistant coach was going to become a teacher and I was going to have to have him and I was not ready for that. I, I didn't want that. I was like, oh man, I'm going to fail. If I, if I have to take his class, I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail and it's not going to be good. So kind of luckily and, and not really luckily, but it, it really, it's a bad situation, but this is how you find the light in that bad. So my, my great grandma had passed away and she had left us her house in Hutchison and so I was like mom mom we've got to move to Hutch I don't know what it's gonna take but I need to go to Hutch I need to go to Hutch and and the main drive for that was so I didn't have to have him in class so that I I didn't have that sense of going into the year oh man I'm gonna fail I didn't want that I didn't want that at all and I don't, I don't wish that upon anybody at all, ever. So, 
anyways, I talked my mom into it. She's like, you know what? Fine, let's do it. Let's move to Hutch. Let's go. So we do. We move to Hutch, right? And boom, start off my senior year. And I'm like, oh man, I can't play football. These guys are good. <laughs> I'm like, dang. I'm not, I'm good, but that guy's fast. <laughs> like, I'm going to be sitting on the bench. Well, it turned out that that had been a really good decision for me to not play football because not even a month into school there, I ended up getting really sick and missed a lot of senior year, but I still passed. I still graduated, and I actually graduated early. Uh, it was amazing, I know, but it, it happened. So, we could definitely go into more details, more stories, more things from growing up that, that might help you guys see that even I struggle. We all struggle. We all have those dark places, those dark times, those hard times, the difficult times. And so, I'm, I want to be here for you. I want to tell you that if there's anything I can help with, I don't necessarily have the means to help with all sorts of things but what I do have is a network and what I mean by I have a network is I've got somebody that I know that I could probably talk to and be like hey what can we do and I'm here to tell you right now those people they're amazing and God blessed and blessed us with them and for those of you that know you're that person, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate you so much. You have, you have no idea what you mean to me. And so I would like to help others the way that they've helped me. Now, for me to do that, I have to, I have to ask you guys if you need help. I need you guys to come to me. I need you to, to, you don't have to tell me specifics. You could just be like, you know what, I'm going through a hard time. And, uh, you know, I need a little food or uh, I need my electric bill paid or I need a little help with it, you know, something like that. I, I don't, like I said, I don't have the means necessarily, but I've got a network and we could try and do our best to help you out. And that's what I want to do. So my Instagram is at Arctic Vet. You can check out my website. I think I've got my email on there. I've got my Facebook. You can always go to my website and somehow find me from there. So that website is just arcticvet.com. Don't be afraid to check it out. And uh, man, I'm looking at the time here and wow, we're running a little late. Hopefully they're all right. Um, check my phone real quick. Yeah, okay, it's nothing, no messages, we're good. Whew. Panicking a little here, but anyways, guys, I just want you to know that I am here for you no matter what it is. I will try and help you the best that I can and I'm, I'm just gonna say it right now I'm gonna tell you the first thing to do is to pray pray yep the first thing you should always do is pray pray and then then reach out then reach out and if you don't if you don't believe in praying I'll do it for you just let me know too and I'll do it for you if you guys enjoyed this little story time video if you can relate to it smash that thumbs up button don't forget to click that red subscribe because we are on our way to becoming massive it's gonna happen it's gonna happen right now we're sitting at like 316 which makes me think of John 16 you know just the numbers man the numbers they all mean something so you guys know what to do drop those comments hit me up on my instagram if you've got my phone number send me a text send me a call snapchat whatever it is reach out i'm here for you i love you all god bless you all and we will see you in the next video let's check out some of this snow Now insert the clip of my first car.